this is day three. It's like 10 o'clock, so it's midday-ish, sort of. Don't have a whole lot to report on our 30-day Shakeology challenge as of now. Things are going good. At least I think they're going good for me. My wife seems to be doing well. I think she's going to have a little something to say later this evening. Right now she's working on, uh, she's inventing a recipe. Well, somebody's probably done it, but we just thought of it. She's got, uh, she wants to have beef tips tonight. I'd be glad when my Shakeology challenge is over too. Because some of these recipes she's talking about, they're sounding pretty good. But she's going to do beef tips tonight and broccoli. But how she's going to do the beef tips, it sounds like, is we got this jar of uh, uh, pickled garlic, which tastes really good by themselves. She's going to basically marinate the beef tips in the pickled garlic, and then, of course, cook them up later. So that should be pretty good. We'll have to see if she does that, and I'll show you later today with our little update for tonight. But the purpose for this video right now is um, I got a little headache going on, you know, and I'm pretty sure it's the startings of you know, getting the caffeine, not having any caffeine, not having any sugar. Um, I'm looking for the word detoxing, that type of thing. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that. And the research that I've done so far says increase your water. So when I went back and was thinking about what I had done over the last two days, my water intake's been low. So along the lines of what I was talking about yesterday as far as, you know, putting myself on a, well, I said against the gray, but I'm not sure that works with schedules, but we're going to do it anyway. Against the gray with a schedule. So, I put myself on a schedule of uh, 6 o'clock in the morning for breakfast shake, and then noon and 6 o'clock at night for the for lunch and dinner ones. And to make sure that I'm at least trying to get my water intake, is because uh, I tried to finish up a bottle of water when I had my shake anyway. I'm adding, I don't really like alarm clocks, but for this project, it's probably the best way to go about it. So what I'm adding to my alarm clock on my phone is it's going to be the same six hours apart, but it's in between my schedule stuff. Like I have breakfast at six, then I'm going to make sure I have an, an intentional cup of water, glass of water, bottle of water at nine, lunch at noon with whatever my water leftovers are and then from making the shake and then an intentional bottle of water at three you get the idea so every other and then every other keep it going so i'm pretty sure that's what my headaches from but as far as my hunger levels and stuff like that just about shake time i'm getting kind of hungry but it's it's nothing unbearable Especially the truck driver, we're just kind of going without anyway. You know, until we get stopped in the day, or you know, your stuff's always back there in the sleeper. If you got a sleeper truck, you gotta stop and go back and get it anyway. So you wait. So you end up waiting 50 miles, 100 miles, 200 miles all day. You know how the deal goes. But uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this short now. We're gonna have four minutes now. I'm gonna make sure no more than five minutes. Just want to let you know, everything is still going good. I'm, I'm actually feeling really good. I haven't had any sugar. I haven't cheated. Yeah, things are doing good. I'm, yeah, I think the first three or four days would be the hardest, and I'm not really seeing any issues other than this headache. I think if I take some Excedrin, kind of fight it off, add some water, I'll be good. And I just about hit five minutes, so. I'm going to let you guys go, and uh, we'll catch up with you probably at home after dinner, or during dinner, and this works for me.